My name is Courtney Wayman and I'm running the 3000 meter steeplechase in the Olympics and I'm excited to share a message. Missing the Olympic team last time when I was in college by one spot and now as a pro I'm making the team. Um, I think the biggest difference is the experience that's come with it. Learning to run the steeple. The steeple is a very different kind of race than most of the flat events. But 2021 was pretty much my first year of racing the steeple and so getting that experience and adjusting from college to professional, it's been nice because Coach Taylor is still my coach and so we're able to look at all the things that I've done prior and building up. But yeah, the biggest difference would be the experience that I've gotten between 2021 and 2024. The qualities that I feel like have been most helpful in me reaching my Olympic dream has probably been self-confidence, belief, and resilience, and a lot of faith. I would say those four things. Um, believing in myself, believing in my coach, believing in my training, believing that everything is meant to happen when it does, as well as self-confidence, believing that I'm ready and knowing that I'm ready and knowing that I've prepared myself well to be here and to show up the best that I can. And then resiliency, this sport is hard and what we're doing is really hard and there are days where you don't feel 100% or you don't feel 100% motivated, but it's pushing through the hard things because I believe that the deeper the sorrows, the higher the gratitude and the higher the joy. And um, the last part is faith, faith that there's a plan and a lot of things are in our control and a lot of things aren't in our control. But believing that who we are and what we're doing and how we're trying to show up, that's most important in having faith that um, God's always in the details. Team or no team, but just in your life, God's always in the details. I would say that my faith has been such an integral part of not knowing the outcome, but knowing that my relationship with God and my Savior has really helped not focus so much on outcomes because at the end of the day there's so many things that can happen and in this sport like I said it's hard especially in the steeple people fall you get fatigued in a different way there's things like that but my relationship with God in Christ has been such an integral part of it I know that my worth never comes from what I do on the track going to the Olympics and making an Olympic team and being an Olympian those are all things that are incredible that I've worked really hard for that I've had a village of people that have stood behind me for those things. However, regardless of any of those things, accolades, success, anything like that, my relationship with God and my Savior has been so strengthened and my worth is tied to their love. And their love is unconditional and their love is not reserved. And knowing that, everything's gonna work out in life however it's supposed to. And as long as I turn to them, I know that I'll be in good hands. I think it still goes back to um, having all the demands of my life right now and staying true to values. It's the people that I surround myself with. There's something that needs to be corrected in my life. I have people in my life that are willing to sit me down and say, hey, we need to do something different or is this how you want to show up? And then on the flip side of that coin, these people are proud of me and they express that and they express their gratitude so I think it's all who I surround myself with and the types of people that I let in into that inner circle they help keep me in that place of alignment with God I would definitely say the ones that come to mind is obviously coach Taylor she has been such a support in more than just my athletic dreams things like this really showcase what I've done on the track she loves me and she loves me more than just the athlete. I am always the person before the athlete and she's always treated me that way since I was 18. She wants to chase this together with me and she has just as much fire and passion about where I am and who I am as well as how I do in races. And the other people that I would say my, are my parents. They're there for me in everything that I've ever gone through and they show up for me time and time again. They fly across the world and maybe get five minutes of my time after watching me race because things just get a little bit busy. Um, but they love me and they've sacrificed a lot of their time and a lot of different things to be able to support me. And it's more, again, more than just running. And I would say those relationships because it's been more than running have been the most influential. When I crossed the line and I realized I made the Olympic team and I'm going to the Olympics, it was a moment of being really proud of myself. It was a moment for thinking of 
the little girl in me that believed so wholeheartedly that I was gonna be an Olympian. There was a lot of moments of being proud of myself. And it was more than just in that race, but crossing that line, I felt a lot of gratitude for who I've been and the things that I've gone through. The advice that I would have to athletes or anyone going through hardships and obstacles and feeling like it's hard to persevere through that, I believe and rely on people. We're all gonna go through hard things and especially in athletics, there's gonna be injuries, there's gonna be setbacks, that's how this works. But I truly do believe that through the hardships, we learn gratitude. And so when you get past those obstacles, you'll feel a lot of joy. And there's joy in all parts of the journey. If you let go of the outcome in most of those times, and you just believe, you believe that things will work how they're supposed to work, and you rely on the people that are around you to help you get through those things, regardless of outcome, you will experience immense joy just by finding the gratitude and the good things through all of it. There's, there's so much joy in this journey and you'll miss out a lot if you're only looking for it when things are going well. Thank you guys so much for listening and thank you for hearing what I have to say. I hope that something that I said resonated with you and helps you get through whatever you're going through or helps you see things in a different light. And on that note, go USA and go Cougs.